In this video I'm going to show my entire World War II collection plus my newest part to my collection. Um, this is with one I'm going to show German Swartz stickers in this video on two items. But the Swartz stickers you'll see are part of the display and they're not um, there for for race, racism features. They're not for that, they're just there for collection purposes. First I'll show is my Australian 1941. Um, is it 40? Yeah, it's 1941 stated. Yeah, it is 1941. Then this is a Mark V respirator bag, UK and Australian style respirator. Warning: the ma this mask does contain asbestos filters on it. So if you get one of these, do not wear it. But this has been on display ever since I had it in here, and I'll leave it dangling like that while I do the tie in, and I'll put it back properly later. Next uh, is a Canadian, it was a Canadian or Czech M10M. Yeah, and I can't remember what this one was, but I can't remember exactly what this mask was. I mean, it's Russian. Now, I got two Russian GB5s. Russian GB5 filters do contain asbestos. Then, next in front of them, I've got two UK Serbian respirators. Let me get into the light. This one's dated 1942. This is a child's mask. And back in the 40s, Gunzels would have had to carry these like, like, like in the old days. So they would carry these everywhere they went to the stations. This is a um, 1940 made by Avon. Um, Sphere mask, large. And this one's a flap of valve on the front. It's a bit of a rarer model. Behind that, I've got a damaged um, 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 light end gas. I got this for about ten bucks actually, so it's a pretty good price. So I'm going to buy another one. I'm um, this forget so I can wear it. Next one on here is a 94, 1936 or 38 General Service Respirator Mark IV with the coffee can filter. Not coffee can, but with a square filter. But when I got this, the filter fell off, so. I just put a bit of tape around over a bit of wire to hold it in place. Next day is a Wardens Police Ambulance and Fire Crews and Sphere's Respirator. Light, um, special Duties Respirator. This one is in, in a suburb position or um, suburb condition. It's very flexible. Right, I'll put it back on the shelf. That is very soft. It's very good. The only thing I've done, because the straps fell to pieces on this though, was a shame. But I was able to learn by some video, by a video on YouTube, um, another gas mask collector had to restore the straps, let's put some new elastics on, with the original 1941 clips. Those clip things there. Under it is the bag for the mask, it's a very rare type of bag. Most of the times you won't find these things. I'm actually getting enough on these special speed and duty respirators. I've just ordered one into my local in the Geelong Armour store where he gets all the old World War II gear. One with the has the pre filled on the front, the green thing. This is the swimming goggles. This belt off the display quickly. I do have some other respirators here with new filters on top with green tape and. Down below, oh, I'll show you on top in a minute. Is two Russian GB files. We're covered in dust now because I had these in here in this room, house ever since I got this thing. I got this, I had these up in here for two, I think, three months like this. And another one, a white one with a coffee can filled and hose. This hose and coffee can filled came with this GP5. And this GB5 came with the filter, what the black GB5 sitting on right now. I did actually got two of them on the wall here. I got a warden's helmet. That's just chalk on there, by the way, on both sides. So if I want to get it off, I just have to let the water just come straight off. This one's dated 1942. All the helmets I've brought in this house are real. 
except the, to the, the police one I will be showing in the video is a replica I made up myself out of a replica army helmet I got it for about $20. Then here was a 1941 ASF auxiliary fire service. And I believe, if this is right, the right ones are the chief helmets. It's also done 1941. Hang up, screws on the wall. Oh, there's a new pain in my I'll sort it out later, sitting on the wall. Next uh, is a GEC World War II UK air raid siren. What was we used in after was a fire siren. This siren still works. Stay tuned for the video when I set this off again on New Year's Day in Melbourne. One blast. We want to see this thing sounding. Go back on my channel, you'll see a couple of videos of me sounding inside. If you can't find the videos on my channel, just write my YouTube channel name, Christopher2000 Air Raid, so I'll come up with a few videos. Next, got my German gear. The VM40 gas mask and helmet. The hel helmet decals are fake. I put those on there because we just had that type of decal, but it faded off. And that mask dated 36. The field is dated... No, not 36, 39. And the field is dated 38. Where did you see the stamp? Right there. And it's got a German Eagle and a sports sticker. Sports stickers are a very bad sign to show um, on things nowadays. You get um, in very serious trouble if you threaten someone with a German sports sticker nowadays. But I have asked out my local police if this was fine to have this, these things like this on display in here. But he said sports stickers are all white indoors like this if he's not doing anything about racism. But this is a sports sticker flag. I'll pin it out and put it on my fingers. This is part of the German display. Now, next is a very cool. I may have got this for Christmas. It's a UK Metropolitan Police, um, I believe, 40s to the 80s style jacket with the sergeant's um, stripes on both arms. This is a real police shirt, um, jacket from England. Well, I got in the local army surf bus store for $100. Then I got my replica police helmet I made up myself, armed with spray paint and a replica army helmet you can buy. You can buy these army helmets cheap over here. I think uh, I saw one for sale, but this was a replica. I picked it up and it was um, I think twenty dollars for this helmet. I am buying a real police helmet like this to go in my collection. The one those Bobby helmets I use in the UK. I saw a store in John sells a couple of them. The store I got the most of my helps on one of those helmets. Well, I did. Um, because I got a real army helmet with this one here, I painted this one bright black with black gloss and then painted the word police on it. Don't ever do that with original helmets. I would never do it to these helmets because I can keep them with the original paint. Never do it with the original helmet. And these handcuffs are real handcuffs, um, ex police handcuffs. You do have to have a license to purchase these. And I do own the license to get these. Own X police gear like this. They're the um, Australian type X handcuffs, and these are the UK type, UK and American type ones. And I bought them to have my collection. Just hang on the wall near the rest, near the near the display. And they're the keys I've got for them. Got, if you play the game Jailbreak on Roblox, you see you have handcuffs in the game, that's similar to what I have in the game. But this is my World War II collection. And my part of my police collection I have. I haven't showed everything. Oh, I haven't showed everything yet, have I? Here I've got a Hungarian helmet. Is it Hungarian from Nimbo? Yeah, Hungarian helmet. Then there's my US M1 helmet without straps. Got a German Luft East German helmet, a ca officer's cap. And then I believe a Swiss helmet. I can't remember what that was. Actually, that one. And I will do a safety regulation with these masks. Um, these type masks, these type, these type masks here, GB5 filters, and those type of filters. 
and the fills on the MK5 respirator do contain asbestos in the filter. So if you have that one, um, do not wear a mask. But with the GB5s, um, I will cons I will explain this. You can actually unscrew the filters and replace them with modern filters to make it safe to wear. But with these MK5 respirators, the filters are fixed on, so you can't actually wear these. But if you do want to wear one, you have to take the filter off and clean the mask out. But that one's for display use. I never wear it. Because um, if I want to wear one, I'll probably end up one of them and make it safe by taking the filter off. But I've got that one to display, but I'm going to put that back in its bag soon. Um, a couple of times when I've been at Trace Mission, I use this gas mask satchel as a carry satchel for my camera sometimes. But that's my World War II military collection with civilian gas masks as well. And my police collection. That's it.